Jetzt haben wir hier Morris Critical. Er sagt, Florida isn't real. Der hat wahrscheinlich ein paar Stories von Florida am Start. Die gucken wir uns an. Ähm, ich sag mal so, seine Videos sind im Endeffekt, Digga, er, er ist zwar also er Englisch, ne? Deswegen mache ich direkt mal Untertitel an. Hier auf Deutsch, wenn ich es finde. Ähm, automatisch übersetzt. Auf Deutsch. Und der berichtet halt, was er halt im Internet gesehen hat, zeigt dann die Videos, die er meint und so. Oder dann gucken wir uns jetzt mal an, warum er meint, Florida isn't real. Oder Moist Critic, wer ihn nicht kennt, ne, hat echt ein bisschen was vom Internet verpennt, Digga, bester Mann. Musik und Star Marge, pack gleich rein. I've seen things that you'd only read about in fairy tales. I could tell you stories that you would swear were false. I knew a guy in college who used to ask to lick people's shoes on the streets, the bottom of their shoes on the street, for his own sexual <lacht> gratification, I imagine. Das fängt schon mal gut an, Digga. Also, ich sehe schon, die Untertitel sind nicht unbedingt so in ihrer Schuhe auf der Straße für seine eigene sexuelle Prägung. Ich nehme an, ich. I don't know if it was sexual, it's my theory, but he used to love licking shoes and he became. So schlecht ist das gar nicht, Bruder. Egal, nimm mal mit. Ebor Shoe Licker. Ebor being the area that he resides in. Point is, I'm getting lost in the, the lore of the Florida comic book superheroes. The point oh, Florida, is, okay. these eyes have laid upon things that could traumatize even the most grizzled of Navy SEALs. And yet still I'm surprised by some of the things that happen in Florida. Today I watched a news story that I can't make heads or tails of. I don't know who's in the right and who's in the wrong here, <laughs> you know. So I just wanted to share it with all of you because it's starting to convince me that Florida is not even a real place. It's just like a giant sketch comedy section. Like a quarantine zone of bad Eddie. sketches gone wrong. <laughs> well, I went to jail. They come arrested me last Thursday. They were here. I lose them to animals, but I was not expecting them losing to my neighbor. That was like my friend. So those Was? are the main characters here. Was? I'll give you a quick backstory. So Was? they're neighbors, and one of them killed the other's rooster. <laughs> Now, the guy is claiming it was done in self-defense because the rooster was extremely aggressive. Ah, and he ah okay, der, 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 der rooster, also der Cock hat den einen angegriffen, deswegen hat er ihn getötet, aus Selbstverteidigung. He's facing potentially up to like five years in jail for animal cruelty. He already spent ah. like 30 hours in jail for this. The ah, okay, er war schon 30 Stunden drin. Just maliciously to kill the rooster. And we're about... Der andere meint, er hat ihn einfach nur getötet, Bruder. ...to get a lot of exposition here, so get ready. I didn't know to give it a 21-gun salute. CPR? Mouth to mouth? You know, or call the chicken ambulance? Big Roo was Jason Day Felice's <lacht> pet rooster. That is, until James Nix hit it. Bruder, warum hast du ein Haustierhahn, Digga? Was ist denn los, Digga? With a stick. Now, like a game of... Was? ...of clue. You know, or call the chicken ambulance? Big Roo was Jason Day Felice's pet rooster. That is, until James Nix hit it with a stick. Now, like <laughs> a game of Clue, we have the murder weapon and the location of the murder. But we don't know the circumstances as to why. We know James is responsible for the execution of Big Roo, yeah. but we don't know the motive. We also know James sounds like Larry the Cable Guy, but that, <laughs> that might not be good evidence for us. We get James's side of the dass Florida keine Fragen stellen, ist einfach so, Bruder. Einfach laufen lassen. The way he tells this war story makes it sound like Big Roo was the raid boss of this trailer park. He makes it sound like, you know, Big Roo was coming around the block to shake James down for his lunch money and James panicked and in self-defense hit it with a stick, which unfortunately killed the rooster. He didn't mean to kill it, he just wanted to get it away from him. But it unfortunately led to the demise of Big Roo. He <laughs> er hat ihn aus Versehen getötet, Bruder. He says that Sünde. he didn't do CPR or mouth to mouth or call the chicken ambulance saying that he didn't know what to do, kind of panicking about it. Which I don't think is going to help James's case here since he just left the body in a ditch. He could have absolutely called the chicken ambulance. I, I mean, we all know that hotline number, you know, klar, like the Ghostbusters we call nicht, ne? chicken ambulance. But he didn't do even that. So he just, he hit it with a stick and then left it. Which is sad, and I do know from personal experience, roosters can be some real aggressive sons of bitches. That's for fucking sure. I remember <lacht> Ohne Spaß, Digga. Ich habe ja auch Vogelphobie, ne? Und ehrlich, wenn so ein Hahn ankommt, ich weiß auch nicht, was ich machen soll, um mich selbst zu verteidigen, Digga. Ohne Spaß. Und da wäre auch für mich erstmal, erst ich und dann kommt der Hahn. A little kid in like a school field trip took us to a petting zoo. Bro, those roosters will come at you with a head of steam sometime, looking to take your fucking heart out. 
So <laughs> I have no boss. doubt that there probably was an element of self-defense here, but I don't blame the rooster or anything. I blame the owner. He was being kept as a pet, and the owner clearly does nothing to like monitor it or keep it on a leash. Though I, I don't, I don't know if you're like supposed to. <laughs> What's okay? <laughs> Why is the keep only roosters thing? on a leash and watch them or something only? that I'm not familiar with? But like at least keep them from like just wandering in neighbors' yards and and you know being let loose the owner just didn't do anything to protect his pet and just let it wander the entire neighborhood which gets brought up here in a minute so i'm defending myself you know i was feared for my safety and the chicken <laughs> you know uh d died nick says the rooster attacked people i have not heard that because i know the neighbor here uh i know him like we're, we're friends <laughs> he never said anything to me about it i did tell him after the chicken hit my dad, I said, hey, man, the chicken attacked my dad. Oh, uh, what's the deal? It's just a chicken. What's he going to do? You know, okay, well, look. Now, James pulls out the receipts here. He's got the photos to prove it. Man was using that Dell laptop to print these bad boys out specifically <laughs> for the interview, showing that the chicken does have a history. Yeah, Bruder, Fotos ausdrucken. Das machst du auch wirklich nur in Florida, Digga. History of attacking. So he's saying that his father was a victim of the <laughs> big Roo. And you can see some of the scars here. So Big Roo was terrorizing this area, though Jason disagrees, saying that no one ever said that, including James. And truthfully, I just don't know who to believe here because it's very possible James could have just printed off any photos of a leg injury and claimed it was Big Roo that did it to try and establish a, a history of violence to try and justify the... Self-defense with the stick. And I'd like to see the stick that struck down Big Roo because that's got to yeah, be the fancy. biggest stick in all of Florida. Like a goddamn mahogany tree trunk. Or like a caveman's club. To take out Big Roo in a single strike? That thing must have been the weight of Thor's hammer. Yeah, the fine. neighbors even disagree on how others saw Big Roo. The kids that used to live over there, they were throwing rocks and sticks at this chicken to keep it away. I know the kids down here, they played with the rooster a little bit. Like would throw rocks at it and chase it. So one Jason. I just saw a also eine sagt, ja, die haben gespielt, die haben Steine auf ihn geworfen. Der andere sagt, er hat keinen Bock auf ihn, hat Steine auf ihn geworfen. Also er hat anscheinend auf jeden Fall Steine auf ihn geworfen. Oder That's was? not playing with the rooster. That's being afraid of it and trying to get it the fuck away from them. Who <laughs> plays by throwing <laughs> rocks at each other? Ja, oh, hey, Spaß. Bill, come on over here. Let's play this. Oder ich bin nach Florida, dort eine Ameise kennen schon auf Todesstrafe halt. Digga, alles möglich in Florida. One game of being stoned to death. It's great. Like... <lacht> Again, it's hard to know who's in the right and who's in the wrong here, but I am leaning more on the side of James did this as an accident in self-defense. Jason's yeah, attitude is pretty douchey, and he does not understand what playing is. Oh yeah, that James is a real jerk. He, he's a no-good liar. The, everyone in the neighborhood loved Big Roo. The kids would throw <laughs> rocks at him, run away screaming and crying. It, it was so much fun, and I know they're going to be really upset to, to learn the news here. Also, I think Jason does bear yeah. a big fault because he's the pet owner and he did yeah, nothing to, you know, monitor the pet, just leaving it completely open to roam the area, clearly. Even he's not defending that. He's talking about how, like, the neighborhood kids would throw rocks. So, clearly, there's a history of Jason just letting the rooster wander around completely unsupervised, which is very irresponsible. Oh, day when Nick says the rooster followed him and attacked him. His neck flares up and he's doing his thing and he's trying to jump up at me. He was trying to get the yeah, animal away. This makes total sense to me because if there was a big rooster coming at me and it started busting out the Squidward dance, I'd probably panic too and try and flee or, you know, flight or fight response would kick in. Squidward dance. I'd probably panic too okay. and try and flee or, you know, flight or fight response would kick in. It'd be a real mess. Again, the way James tells this story just seems a lot more genuine than the way Jason tells it, but it's just so hard to know for sure. But I also think it would have made a lot of sense if James truly did this in self-defense to go to Jason and be like, look, man, you know we all loved Big Roo, and unfortunately something tragic just happened, uh, and then explained it to him. I, I feel like it wouldn't have got this far, but it seems like he just left the rooster's corpse outside, just, just like rotting outside. So, which means that Jason now doesn't trust James' story because James made no attempt to like communicate what actually happened to Jason. I guess I, it, this is just Bruder, so many fucking plot lines going on here. I feel like I'm trying Digger. to dissect.
Oh, das ist ja schlimmer als Game of Thrones. Evangelion. This, uh, it's, it's just so many moving parts. <lacht> and I tried to hit it, but the chicken's jumping up at me and I accidentally knocked it in the head. You know, call it a lucky shot, whatever. But when De Felice came home, all he saw was his rooster dead in a ditch. You see what I mean? Leaving the body out there was just a bad move from James because yeah, it immediately true. makes Jason question what the fuck happened and why. <lacht> it makes it seem like James just killed his rooster in cold blood. Ja, yeah, alles gut, Michi. Kuss das aber da war's, ja? Hau rein. Blood and left it outside like a, like a trophy or a warning to other roosters, like Vlad the Impaler, putting the <lacht> goddamn big roo on a, on a pike. It's, it's just, there, there could have been a much more efficient way of handling this, just like more communication, like, Jason, you stupid imbecile. You again left big roo unsupervised and it tried to attack me and I accidentally hit it in the head and unfortunately it went right to Valhalla. You know, like, they, they could have talked it out They both das shoulder hat. a lot of blame here, but I really do think Jason's intentions were self-defense. Roosters, again, from what I understand, can be very aggressive. Jason ja, openly states, yes, this rooster just... Also, ich bin auch Zeuge, Digga, so, so Vogel allgemein, Digga, muss nicht nur Hahn sein, Digga, die können alle ziemlich aggressiv sein und gefährlich. ...wandered around this entire area. Neighborhood kids threw rocks. The other neighbors over here, you know, knew the, knew the rooster. You know, so clearly there's just a lot of problems in general with what happened here. And it's a sad story, but one that I find so fascinating. I said I'm calling JSO. I called JSO. JSO didn't do nothing. And then a couple days later, I, I realized I could call animal control. And in late June, mm. James Nix went to jail for animal cruelty. Lava he calls the chicken police on me. That's the last organization <laughs> you want to visit from. Yeah, the chicken true. police are yeah. no nonsense, ruthless, yeah, strictly business, <laughs> merciless, and they will fuck you up. You know, God have mercy on the soul of. Oh, ehrlich, die Welt ist so, so verkehrt, ne? Ehrlich, die Welt ist so kaputt. Someone who gets a visit from the chicken police. While the neighbors continue the fight, Nick says he never should have been arrested. Oh, die Videos, ne? Du siehst halt auch nur drei Pixel auf dich zukommen. Chickens are dying every day, people, at churches, Popeyes and Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laacht> really? He's not wrong, but it's not a great comparison either, because it's not like those ja. chickens are kannst being... Kannst du nicht bringen, das kannst du nicht bringen zu dem Zeitpunkt, das geht nicht, Hit with a stick in the back of the restaurant. That they were factory farmed. This was a guy's pet. Uh, again, I think both people are at fault here, but I just don't know who's more in the wrong. I don't know if it's necessarily animal cruelty if it was done in self-defense. Like a rooster, I mean, they could hurt you, right? Like, it's not like they're completely... Oder muss ja auch einfach ein bisschen menschlich denken, Bruder. Normalerweise schreckst du dich bei so einem Hahn, Digga, wenn du die, keine Ahnung, nicht jeden Tag mit so einem komischen Viechern zu tun hast. Unable to do damage to human beings. People get attacked by chickens and it causes damage. Yeah, yeah. Usually not life threatening or anything, but you still don't no, want to just be birdie, birdie attacked sagen. by a random animal just on your way home. Uh, again, Jason shouldn't just let his roosters wander around and, you know, rampage this whole neighborhood. And James should have done more to tell Jason what happened. You know, that it was an accident. That Big Roo attacked him. So, again, just a wild story. Ganz wild, ja. And Wollte ich auch gerade sagen. Ganz, ganz wilde so Story. full of wackiness. I couldn't help but just bring this one up. Uh, that's... Boah, ganz wilde Story. Ich war, ganz ehrlich, ich weiß auch nicht, wer da Unrecht ist. Würde mich so ein komischer Hahn angreifen, Bruder. Ich würde den auch einfach wegballern. Ist mir egal, was da kommt, ne? Aber er geht damit auch scheiße um, er drückt ihn das halt auch einfach ins Gesicht zu, den nicht mal irgendwie, weiß ich nicht, in der Schuhbox packen und ihn geben und sagen, Bruder, voll Film und sowas, Digga. Einfach so, ja, Mensch, es war ein Haar, ein Scheiß drauf, Digga, komm mal klar auf dein Leben. Klar ist er ein bisschen angepisst, dass er in den Knast dafür kam, Bruder, das verstehe ich halt auch nicht, weil, ne, wie gesagt, Bruder, ne, wenn so ein Haar auf mich zukommt, würde ich auch nicht äh, auf mich aufpassen. Aber ja, Bruder, der andere lässt den Haar noch einfach durch die ganze Nachbarschaft, Digga. also Florida einfach, fucking, fucking Florida, Bruder. Zum Glück bin ich da kein Richter, Digga. Ohne Spaß.